What is up guys? I am back with the 2024 revision of my debloating Windows 10 video. Now without the Windows 10 debloater, for those preferring not to use third party scripts, I totally understand. I'm a little skeptical myself. The script does speed up the process, but it is by no means required for debloating Windows 10. A little disclaimer right away, don't use this tutorial for Windows 11. I'm going to touch on removing all apps from Windows, and Windows 11 heavily relies on those apps in a way that Windows 10 does not. I'm going to show you how to do all the same stuff that the debloater does, uh, just like last time, like disabling telemetry, disabling Edge, forcing itself to be the default PDF handler, and uninstalling OneDrive. Uh, later I'm going to show you my personal favorite, which is running a quick, uh, well, a few quick PowerShell commands to remove all the apps and then restoring a few like the calculator and the Windows Store. So, in order to disable telemetry, go to Start, type in Services, and you'll see either Services or Services.msc. Open that up. Inside the Services window, scroll down and find Connected User Experiences and Telemetry. That's a little cut off. Double click on it. And next to startup type, change this to disabled. Then you might as well click stop. Click OK. Moving on, we're going to disable Edge, forcing itself to be the default PDF handler. Personally, I prefer the good old Acrobat. For this, you'll have to enter the belly of the beast and open Microsoft Edge. Go to the three little dots up at the top right, and go to Open Settings. Select Site Permissions, and then PDF Documents. Toggle the option that says Always Open PDF Files Externally. Now for a quickie, to uninstall OneDrive, it's as easy as going to Start, type Programs, and click Add or Remove Programs. Now locate OneDrive, click it, and click on install. For this next part I recommend you only uninstall all apps if this is a fresh install. Reason being you may have personally installed apps or some driver manufacturers such as Nvidia, Realtek, um, there's some others. They may also have some sort of app associated uh, with the driver and you need to reinstall the later at the Windows Store. These shouldn't, however, break any drivers. You might just lose some functionality or the control panel or something. To clear up some confusion, apps refer to Windows 10 Universal Windows Platform or UWP apps. These are not to be confused with traditional programs or desktop applications which use the Windows 32 or COM API or .NET framework. They typically are associated with an executable whereas apps are just, well, apps. Now we're going to go to Start and type PowerShell. Make sure it's not the x86 PowerShell. Right click and run as administrator. Now inside PowerShell, you're going to type git-appx package, a pipe, uh, which is a shift and a backslash, then remove-appx package, and hit enter. Don't mind some of the errors, it's removing all the apps. Now checking the start menu, you'll notice the Windows Store is missing as well as the calculator. The calculator is one of those things that got migrated to a UWP app and with Windows 10. We'll get the calculator back with the store, so let's first just get the store back for now. We're going to type get appx package, then an asterisk windows store asterisk dash all users pipe for each and then a curly bracket or a brace add appx package dash disable development mode 
dash register a quotation mark dollar sign open parenthesis another dollar sign underscore dot install location close parenthesis a backslash appx manifest dot xml a quotation mark and then a closed curly bracket now that we restored the windows store we can go to start open the windows store and search for the calculator then install it once again and any other applications that we need now your windows 10 installation is completely cleaned up and good to go I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Comment down below, like, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.